thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Zarkz today with another YouTube video and today we finally completed Ultimate Master. Now we get 55,000 coins, which I thought you get 100k, so not too sure exactly why we're getting 55,000 coins. We get 55k and then we get the Ultimate Master pack. So let's get into this. And maybe it has like a 45k quick sell or something, and we're gonna be able to actually pick which night train lane we want to go with. So, um, honestly, I have to take a look at the stats. So, night train lane with physical front. So, we already has 97 zone. He could go to a 99 zone because I do have room react here five, or it could go with something else if I don't want to get 99 zone, it could go with like physical front to boost his block shit he has secure tackler and also tip drill but i'm gonna back out actually i'm gonna go ahead and check out exactly who or what position i should end up picking up nitrate lane at now i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep him i'm pretty sure i'm gonna keep him so physical front he would have tier two he would get plus one block shit plus one tackle plus one power move now or hit power now i do have tier 5 of reading reacts we get plus 4 zone plus 4 power move plus a 4 pursuit honestly i feel like reading react is like one of the best camps in the game and if i do end up picking nitrine lane i feel like shakura government's probably gonna end up hitting the auction block and have ronde barber and there is slay at cornerback so let's go ahead i guess and look into getting him uh where his ultimate master there he is and we're gonna go ahead and i think pick the read and react version now let's take a look at his stats though before we do so he is 96 speed with a 98 excel 96 agility 94 man also the 97 zone coverage 95 press 95 cleric and a 85 catching now this is my best cornerback i'd say Darius slay or ronnie barber one of the two but you guys can see it is definitely not even comparable these guys are completely just unmatched i mean nitrin land is insane 85 strength on a cornerback with a catching of an 85 so he has five better catching 90 tackling he also did jumping of 97 he's six foot one he has a block shed of an 86 and a stamina of a 99 with a catching traffic at 84 a spec catch of an 80 and a 95 hit power 95 hit power the cornerback position he better lay some big hits so night train lane with reading react i think is going to be the move now he also has secure tackler and tip drill chem which is amazing the fact that he has secure tackler and i thought we got 100k for doing it uh i guess we just get 55k uh that's kind of weird I, I thought for sure you're supposed to get 100k um okay so I guess you only get 55k for completing Night Train Lane. That kind of sucks. But let's go ahead and get into Night Train Lane and thrown into our team. I guess he can go at the cornerback number one spot. And I'll move Rondé Barber down to cornerback number two. So we can put him in there. And let's see if that affects our overall at all. And apparently not. Now let's put Rondé, I guess, in the slot. Do I want to put Slay or Rondé in the slot? So Rondé has better press way better press 99 zone 95 speed 97 excel i feel like i should keep ronde in this i should feel i could keep ronde on the outside because that press is probably needed a lot especially on the outside in the slot it's not really so much needed so i'm gonna put slay in the slot and see how that affects overall and apparently it doesn't at all so let's take a look at nitro lane now with all these chemistry boosts he is 99 zone with a 96 play recognition let's see the pursuit 96 awareness he also has a pursuit i'm hoping of a 99 power move is 72 99 pursuit that is amazing right there so he's definitely going to take some really good angles what are you going for when he's uh going in for tackles now we could potentially sell nitrate lane uh, i'm gonna check the price on him and see exactly what he's working with but this is the defense now with nitrate lane in here honestly i feel like it's a pretty freaking stack d we have steve atwater james harrison ryan jazir luke keekley charles haley ken houston we have ronde barber demarcus lawrence aaron donald fletcher cox jason taylor darius lee in night train lane now the defensive position heroes do come out on friday so i'm not gonna go ahead and probably buy any more defensive players or any players in general until defensive position heroes drop because i want to see who the left 
end is, and I might end up picking up that guy to replace Demarcus Lawrence to kind of give us that really, really stacked defense. Or maybe a Deion Jones comes out from middle linebacker, and I will look into doing that set. But Night Train Lane at cornerback, I'm not too sure if his price will dip down a ton because of positional heroes. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see exactly how much his price will kind of get changed. So Night Train Lane right now is going for only 435k surprisingly that's like extremely cheap for him but i feel like a ton of people are actually able to get his set done now so let's go ahead and take a look at 98 overall cornerbacks and see if any of them are even comparable to night train lane so maybe i can go ahead and sell night train lane pick up somebody else and save just a little bit of coinage now when it comes to 98 to 99s i don't think there's anyone else that's him and rod woodson so, I mean, Night Train Lane is even cheaper than Rod Woodson, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Rod is 550,000 coins. Comparing to Night Train Lane, he has two more speed, the same Excel, more agility, more man, but less zone, way less press, less play rec, and also less catching. Also, when it comes to tackling, he has one less, jumping, he has one more. Uh, block shed is an 80 compared to an 86, and a stamina of a 98 compared to a 99, also a hip power of an 86 compared to a 95. So, in my opinion, I feel like Night Train Lane is better. Also, Night Train has secure tackler at the cornerback position with 95 hit power. Just absolutely insane, to be honest. Uh, we can also take a look at the 97 overall corners, and I really don't think any of these guys even compare. Maybe Marshawn Lattimore is decently close. Uh, 96 speed, 94 excel, 94 duty, 97 man, 93 zone, 96 press. Yeah. He really just does not compare to Night Train. I don't feel like anyone really does except for Rod Woodson. So if I were to go ahead and sell my cornerback, which was Shakur Griffin, and maybe pick up another cornerback if I really wanted to and replace one of these guys like Slay or Rondé Barber, I feel like maybe Revis would be the guy. Now the thing is, Revis really doesn't have that great of stats if you take a look at him compared to Darius Slay. But it's Darrell Revis, and I love to have him. Also, pick 6 chem. So he has 94 speed, 97 excel, 95 agility, 98 man with a 95 zone. Now, I don't run a lot of man, so I really don't think Revis is going to be the pickup for me. If I ran man a lot, then absolutely. But he also has a good block shit of a 64. That's actually not that good. And a hit power of a 71. So Revis' card, I thought would be kind of really good. Honestly, not that great. Uh, Deion Sanders, of course, is an amazing coverage guy. Uh, compare him to Darius Slay. He is 97 speed, 97 excel, 96 zone, 97 man coverage, 97 player. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't ever even react. So, it's not really going to be a great fit there, too. Not really a lot of cornerbacks out right now that I would want to pick up. So, I feel like we're just going to go ahead and sell Griffin and make some coinage there i'm not even sure how much he's going for it looks like he's going for about 160k so definitely not too bad but in terms of left ends that are around right now that i can go ahead and pick up i feel like there's basically none i mean Mel, or the left end that i have right now is demarcus lawrence and unless i was going to pick up a 98 or 99 which i'm not spending 800k and of honors aaron donald it's probably going to be no pickups for me. Now, I do have my weekend league rewards and also some boss battle rewards. So, I'll be saving these for Thursday, which is tomorrow. So, I'll have that for the new uh, limited time cards. And on Friday, of course, we will be getting the new positional hero. So, be on the lookout for that. Of course, I'll make a video as soon as those drop. And this is the new team with Night Train Lane. Here is the offense. Let me know what positions I should upgrade. Um, honestly, offense is pretty good. I, I feel like most of these guys are pretty solid tight end i was looking at the new jimmy graham evan ingram actually i think is still better just because the fact that he's way better speed defensively i'm really hoping for a new Deion jones because i'm not gonna replace shazier unless he gets like a 97 98 overall middle linebacker that has really really good speed so i need like a shazier or like uh a Deion Jones, hopefully like a 98 overall, so I'm going to 99 with chemistry boost if he has a react, which I know Deion Jones would have a react, so we'll be looking forward to that. Uh, cornerbacks, I don't think I'll be upgrading cornerback anytime soon. Defensive line, I honestly love Jason Taylor, especially in QB Spy. And maybe Aaron Donald could get replaced, even though I run a 3-4 defense, just to kind of get my overall up. And also Demarcus Lawrence. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. Also, let me know down below what chemistry did you go with your night train lane and who do you guys think will get a position or hero but i will see you guys next time